Today we're going to talk about uh, WAL 545, we're going to give our prediction with Dimitar. Yes. Uh, Continue. <laughs> the first fight that we're going to talk about is uh, Geoff Hill versus Adam Luna. We, we don't need to talk about that actually mm -hmm. because uh, it's a done deal. 3-0, Jeff Hill, no, no arguments here. I, yeah, I don't know why they put this guy with him. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand, but okay. Yeah, 3 0 job hell. Easy work, easy money, easy day, uh, easy night. It's gonna be easy for job. That was so, a yeah. fast one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We move on on the following one. It's Victoria Carlson versus Tatiana Faria. What are you gonna say here? Uh, some people don't know, maybe Victoria, or some know. I think they... I, I only know Victoria, actually. I don't know the other girl. I'm sorry. Uh, I think uh, Victoria is gonna take this one. She's uh, European. WAF. Yeah, uh, vice, yeah, vice champion in WAF and uh, EF, you know, the Europeans. Uh, the other girl, I don't know. That she competed in WAL. Yes, for. yes, yes. So she she knows more the WAL than Victoria probably. Uh, we're gonna check out their records. The record is so yeah, easy. yeah. Tatiana has a lot more experience in WAL. Yeah. But I think Victoria is gonna take this one. Obviously. On the physical skills and technical she's, skills. She's from Sweden? Yeah, she's from Sweden. That's Victoria uh, has have better points than Tatiana. Actually, this one is also blind prediction. Mm, yeah, yeah. It's Let's say 3-1 Victoria Carlson. I, I, I'll go with 3-0. You go 3-0? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so we are moving forward. Danny Tesh versus Quinlan Mendes. Now it's getting very interesting here. So many of you probably don't know uh, Danny Tesh. He's from Australia and he's uh, probably the top Australian guy for quite some time. A very strong joint, very strong hook. Uh, probably some of you saw his video with Devon uh, on the left hand. He give him a lot of trouble uh, he's very very strong uh, Quillian Mendes uh, durable grindy it will be very tough match but uh, I think uh, that uh, Danny will will eventually tire him because of his uh, he usually plays like yeah. that so Jones he gonna lock don't him be surprised up. if you he's see gonna that. lock him up inside Hold. He might lose the first one, but after that, I think that he's gonna smoke him. Something like three one, Dan Tesh. Maybe three two, at most. That's my prediction. I... You know what? I'm gonna say that Queen on Mendes is gonna win this fight because of the Kitowski match. Yeah. Yeah. He he. He beat uh, Tony Kitowski very badly, but uh, I think Danny is a bigger guy than than Tony. He's a, he's a longer hand. He can hook him. We'll see. Actually, there is a lot of a lot of uh, weight difference between them. Danny Tesh is yeah, he's heavier. He's longer. Heavier. That's what I'm trying to say. It will be a war for sure. Quillen, uh, only chance for him is to top row him, and I don't see him top top row a guy with uh, such a big, such a long hand. He can cup him very good. I think it's three one Danny Tesh, but most three two. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Next one is uh, 
Matt Musk and Hermes Gasparini. Clear favorite, Hermes Gasparini. I don't know if uh, people in the uh, US know much about him, but he's a real deal. He, for me, he beat Michael Tuck. He beat him in the Vendetta in Italy. Uh, Michael never pinned his arm. Uh, he won the three of them, three of those fights by fouls. He never even took his center. Uh, he, Hermes was a lot, a lot better than, than Michael. Also, he beat Trubin, he beat Krasi, Rustam, he beat a lot of big names. Uh, the one thing they have in common are the long hands, uh, long arms. Uh, Actually, Matt must have longer arms. Yeah, of course he he's six five. Uh, Hermes is six two, of course. But for me, uh, he he doesn't have the same hand control as Hermes. Hermes hand control is probably the best in the world. I don't know. He 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 was hurt for maybe a year. We didn't saw him fight. Uh, we didn't saw him pull. Uh, Actually, if you see the physical skills and technical skills, Hermes have much more points than than Mas Mas yeah, Mas yes, yes, yes. Uh, many of you maybe don't know about Hermes, but he's WF world champion many yeah. times. Yeah. EF champion. 2015, he yeah. he competed in 80 no 90 class I think or 90. 80. 90, 90, 90 yeah. kg, 90, 90 kg. kilo, yeah. But in the last days, he is beating the top guys very easy, like the heavyweights of Europe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going uh, totally Hermes 3-0. 3-0, I think that he, he's going to buckle his uh, arm, he's going to take his uh, wrist. And it, will be, it will be interesting, but... It will be interesting, but at the end, I think also that Hermes is going to win this yeah. fight. I will put score 3-1, because maybe, probably, in the first one, Matt Musk will take it. I think the first one, Matt Musk will take it, because yeah, he's he also a very he aggressive need, guy. He will need, uh, Hermes will need some adaptation with the pads, probably, with the rules, with the... How they do their uh, grips? Uh, yeah, it might be three one. It might be three one. But uh, also, yeah, considering that uh, Hermes have better side pressure than Matt Musk. Oh, definitely. Yeah, he can play. He can that's hook him. He thing, can actually yeah. hook that's, him and beat him main. in the hook. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw him do that. I saw a video of him beating Sabin. Sabin is a super heavyweight. 150 kilos, he beat him like this very easily in sight. So, uh, yeah, uh, I definitely Hermes. No, I won't even think about it. So, we are moving forward to the final event Jerry Cadoret versus Todd Hutchings. Jerry and Todd Silva, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I waited for a long time for this one. 50 kg difference. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot. This one is very tricky. If Jerry don't go straight in into the shoulder press or the dead wrist press, he he can hang on with uh, a tot in a pure hook. Uh, tot will drag him. Tot will let, beat let's, him. Let's let's make it that way. If he's not playing pre priest Yeah game he's not gonna win this no no uh think if he just go straight in through the triceps press i think that uh to deal he has to go for him. he have to do yeah yeah, yeah yeah directly we're gonna see the that <laughs> at he's the quite, beginning he's quite good at, uh, with that move he means if he jerry beat the, almost everybody like yeah Devo, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he beat a lot of guys uh if he goes straight to the uh Press 3 0 Jerry. I'm gonna say also 3 0 for Jerry. So, my prediction is 3 0 Big Daddy Jerry Cadaret. Yeah. 
3-0. Let's see what's gonna happen actually. This event's gonna be quite interesting yeah, it's for us. Yeah, gonna be awesome. And uh, also, it's on the 15th of August. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for my birthday present, I want Hermes to be 3-0. That's the only thing I want. <laughs> so guys, uh, that's it from us. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon.